Hi everyone and welcome to the Alt VR channel. At this channel we are discussing uh, alternative experimental uses of VR. And in this video we will discuss the creation of virtual reality memory palaces. Uh, we will do this through WebVR, so this means that you can access this on your computer, but also on your standalone headsets like the Oculus Quest. So before we get into the video itself, I should explain what a memory palace actually is. So a memory palace is a way to store or memorize information by organizing it visually and spatially. So this means organizing images or representations, for instance, uh, in a room or what we can call your uh, memory palace. So this is, of course, perfect for VR due to the fact that VR can simulate uh, visual spatial information. So in terms of web VR, what we will use is called Mozilla Hubs. So this is found at hubs.mozilla.com. And when you have registered and logged in, you get the uh, possibility to create a room. And if we do this, I think we will just be presented with one of the default rooms, uh, which now is loading. But there is also the possibility through uh, another service that Hubs Mozilla is facilitating, which is called uh, Spoke by Mozilla. So this is one of the default rooms. And we see that when we go in here, we have the option to either enter this in a standalone VR headset, uh, which we will do later. Uh, in this case, you get a code. Uh, so you can go into your Oculus Quest, go to hub.link and use the special one-time letter code that you're receiving. Uh, however, it's also possible to just use it on your uh, normal computer. In this case, uh, you can use it with a connected VR headset or just enter it on the screen. Um, what is also possible uh, instead of just using these default rooms, which you see here, is to use their service, which is called Spoke. Now, this is a simple web editor that lets you create virtual environments, which you can later upload to Mozilla Hubs. So in this case, for the one we are going to use, um, I have created something in uh, Spoke by Mozilla, which I've called Dwelling. And I can just show you how this looks uh, inside Spoke. So you can see here in the editor, uh, while well, the project is loading, that you have stuff like uh, my assets, uh, architecture kit, uh, etc., so that you can use to create your actual environment. So in this case, um, I have created a small house, which is supposed to act as my memory palace. And this is basically me, so that's represented as the spawn point when you're entering the virtual environment. Um, for the rest of the video, I will actually go inside my Oculus Quest and show you how this looks from the inside and how we can furnish this to be a memory palace. Yeah, so once you are inside Oculus Home, you can go down to the browser and enter the URL hub.link. And this will take us to the page where we can enter the code that is specific to our virtual environment or virtual memory palace. So in my case, that's... Uh, oh, no... Uh, yeah, GFHC. And that takes us to the environment. Now, this looks like it loads like a normal web page, but we have the ability to enter it like a virtual environment afterwards. So when we enter the room, uh, we'll have to choose an avatar. This is because it's primarily a social VR application, which is why they ask us for avatars and sound. But we don't really need to think about that right now. So... Once we've entered, we are inside the virtual environments. You can either teleport or um, use normal walking with the joysticks, uh, like this. So to add objects into the environment, we have to look up and we get access to this menu. Now, here we can choose between things from Google Poly, Sketchfab, videos, uh, other scenes that people have created, which we can use to extend it, um, in addition to GIFs and images. Now, for this video, I will choose to memorize countries um, in the order of size. So we can start off by Russia. Let's see if we can find a funny image of Putin. Yes, very pretty. And once we have it, we can order it around and place it. Now, it's important that we remember to pin the object. Uh, in this way, it will be here when we load the environment at a later time, if we want to extend the palace. So for the next one, we can yeah we can see if we uh, find a 3D object for this one. 
Let's just try Canada, see if we get an association. Yes, okay, uh, the goose is fine, the Canada goose. And now we see that we actually have an object in 3D. Uh, we can also resize these by taking, uh, using two hands and dragging out. Uh, and just placing it, oops. Uh, yeah, something like that. Also pinning this one. Sometimes the menu is a bit hard to find <laughs> because it's uh, directed at a certain angle towards the object. Yeah, so for uh, the third, just to complete this example of how this method can be used, uh, we'll then go for the US. And let's see if we find something good here. Uh, lots of guns. Okay, flag, flag is good, flag is good. Yeah, so sometimes it can be a bit tricky to resize these things, but um, yeah, it turns into skill uh, after a while, I hope. So uh, the principle here is that you can use any association to uh, remind you of the things that you want to recall. Yeah, so this is just a short example on how you can use Mozilla Hubs to create virtual reality memory palaces for your quest. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate any subscriptions to the channel. And apart from that, happy memorization.